welcome to the channel if you're new here welcome back if you've been here before i'm in a pretty cool location for the start of this one this is the frampton nature reserve down in the wash on the east side of england in a county called lincolnshire came down here last night and found a beautiful little overnight in spot pure peaceful nobody else around after about midnight and then today came down and explored this nature reserve I wanted to come down to a county which I haven't explored much of and I think we're going to do exactly that today. I'm going to be heading up into the heartland of the Lincolnshire Wolds. I've got an eight mile hike that stretches through numerous little villages and such and farmland and countryside. It should be beautiful and it should give us a real good vibe and feel of the actual Lincolnshire Wolds. On top of that, I've got a little bit of scoping I want to do because I'm not up in Lincolnshire that often. Yeah, I wanted to check out what the overnighting situation is like around here. So I've got a couple of spots that I'm going to go take a look at to see if they're okay or not. For now, it's beautiful weather, blue skies all around, and it's going to be a great day. Let's get ourselves over to the Lincolnshire Wolds. Before I start melting and losing layers, I'm going to get my shiznit together and get on the trail. It's a roaster. Guess it'll be alright. It's not as many people around here to moan about it. <laughs> it's one house over there. Two. Let's get on the trail. Boom time. Doing it right. Oh yeah, it works. No way. Check that out. Well, that's amazing. I never thought I'd see that. The legendary place where the Powak chicken is created. Oh my days. Must be millions of them back there. Fantastic. Never knew it existed. And least of all, in the Lincolnshire world. Wow, what a day. Well, here's one then. Looks rather quaint, doesn't it? Do not be disillusioned. Oh my days. Check what I've got to read because this is the St Andrew's Grade 2 listed church and while the fabric of the church dates back to the 14th century it was actually rebuilt in 1857 but that's not what's interesting about it check this because it goes on about a 17th century slab on the floor inside and it also goes about columns decorated with human heads human heads I mean obviously sculpted but what's a bit grimace isn't it I don't think we can get in of course we I'd love to have a look uh, is that a what, yeah. Oh. 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 Come in. Hello. <laughs> oh, wicked. Let's go. Oh, wow. Uh, I mean, is it a used church? I guess it must be. Of course it is. It's the uh, Flutterby Church. Where's these human heads? What? Where's your columns then? Eh? Columns would be up things. It's got to be those, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. It looks intriguing, but not particularly like 
a human head. I mean, there's me. I'm human. Uh, and there's that. Pretty cool. You know. All being said, though, it is a really nice little church. I love these little village churches. They're, they're like so old. I mean, this was originally built in 14th century. And they're all little. I remember finding one in Anglesey last year and even smaller than this and built in a similar fashion. It's amazing, isn't it? That hundreds and hundreds of years ago, there was like a little settlement here that was worshipping and you know it's just it's it's pretty cool I even got the stained glass windows oh wow yeah pretty cool it's got a smell to it as well of an old church brilliant i mean you go around southeast asia and such and you see all the temples and things like that but yeah these old buildings are pretty magnificent as well and a lot of the temples you see in asia now like you know, the real magnificent ones have been rebuilt and patched up and such. So, yeah, to see something this old, even though this has been rebuilt, yeah, pretty cool. Huh? Right, let's keep moving. Oh, look, wait, it's a bit of a thing, huh? Pretty cool. Right, let's go. Found a human head. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> kind of looks like, oh, no way. Blaspheme, but a little bit like Prince Charles. Uh, maybe the nose is not big enough. There's one here as well. They're pretty cool. Oh, I would have liked to have seen. Oh, that's like a female. No way. I would have liked to have seen a lot more of these. Oh, stone sculptures are fantastic, eh? You know, things like these on ancient buildings. Oh, man. When I was in Angkor Wat in Cambodia, I've seen some temples, but that Angkor Wat, yeah, that just blew me away. And it just stretches for tens of miles. There's so many temples all around. There's not just the Angkor Wat, which is just mind blowing anyway, but there's so many other ones all around. You could spend a week going around them all if that was your thing. But yeah, these, these gravestones as well. I mean, you think, some of these must be hundreds of years old. Wow, right, let's go. Oh, I don't know if you see him, but that guy up, up there doing something to his window, just had a quick chat with him. And uh, yeah, he was telling me about the area, saying something to do with a gentleman called William Hill. Uh, must have been quite a high so sort of guy around the area, around loads of land. And he was a blacksmith of sorts. He was also into all these wood carvings and a lot of the carvings inside that church was from this guy. And the thing with it is, he had a son, an only son, who passed away at the age of 15. And that lady weeping, oh, I'll just show you a shot of it now. Yeah, that's sort of the memorial for his 15 year old son. Wow, guy was also saying, he says, you should have checked out the gravestones. He says, if you can get past your infants there, uh, back in the day over here in this village, he says, once you've lived past 10, 11 years old, the rest of the gravestones, they're all in their 80s and 90s. So there must have been a really healthy living out here. Once you've got past being a kid. That was a bit odd, wasn't it? Yeah. Nearly walked past me turn as well. Looks like we are actually going onto the Viking Way. I'm cutting through fields. Check this living thing out on the gate. Like, Ow! Damn it, bit me. Um, oh, bloody it's like a bloody Krypton Factor challenge. Ah, oh, there we go. Not that. Oh my god. Does it go squeak? One love. Bring it on with one love. Yeah, man. Oh, that one's going on the what three words. Squeaky gate. Loving the season. God, I can't even get the bloody thing back on now. Look, they made it too short. How did it go before? Oh, there we go. Oh, Krypton Factor. Oh, one of the greatest shows on TV of all time. Oh, wow, remember it. It was so good, man. I reckon I've been good at it. Some of them were logical, weren't they? Actually, be like logically thinking and such. Like a Mensa challenge, you know what I mean? They don't make shows like that anymore, do they? Bloody Krypton Factor. Did you bring it back? Why don't they bring it back? They bring back some right crap. Bring back the Crips in fact, I mean, they're bringing back gladiators. Hoo -hoo. So I've heard, oh, that'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Great, that's me sadly up bloody ruined again. And for watch TV. <laughs> no, that's it. We should stop petition. Get the Crips in fact back in action, mate. And that dude that used to do it. Good. I hope he's still with us. He was kind of cool, you know. Fit the show. He was quirky. As opposed to the show. Oh, this is cool, look, straight away, off the beaten track and onto the, as the trail and into exactly what the Lynx Shibwold holds, farmland and grazing land and just open fields of countryside, beautiful.
best time of the year to be here with the lambs as well, eh? Before they're all gone. You know what I mean? Having a giraffe here, mate. I'm a bloody towner. I'm especially working all these things out. Five points because I did it within 15 seconds. Game on. Oh, hello, buddy. Oh, mate, this one's a... Do you want to say hello? Oh! So dang cute, eh? Hello. You can say hello. Hello. <laughs> How close are you going to get? Are you going to let me stroke you? No? I don't think you are, are you? Oh, my darling. Oh, so cute. Oh, man, I stood up and scared him after that. I don't know what it is. It's something about some animals and that. You just see that, like, love or whatever it is in their eyes and, yeah. We need to take better care of the world, don't we? Do you know what I mean? See things like that. We really do. It's a mad, mad world. Skiffed in it. Look, look at the state of the universe, man. We haven't found another planet that even got one little bit of life on it. Nothing, just rocks and crap. And a damn fat amount of resources. And here we are pummeling the shiznick out the earth, dude. Ah, Cause it's close. Get your arse in gear, spend a bit of money and go and bloody Blast some rocks in space for your resources. I don't care, and leave this planet alone. Musk got the best idea, isn't it? He? He's on it like a rash, mate. Sending people to Mars and all that within the next 20, 30 years. He knows, doesn't he? He's like gonna have a colony out there for when this place is rotten eggs and gone, you know, like a bloody apple gone rotten and thrown in the bin. He's on about it as well, though. Mining resources from space. The other dude as well, the guy from the, uh, the jungle. Amazon guy, you know what I mean? The one that looks like the baddie from the Austin Powers movie, you know, with the bald head. NASA as well, eh? They're all trying to get a piece of the moon now. Oh, loving it, ain't they? Yeah, that's my bit, that's my bit. You're not even bloody there, mate. Get ships out there first before you start calling this bit your bit. I don't care, fight about it. On the moon, wicked, go for it, leave us alone. Bloody money-hungry, power-hungry madman. Hey, send them to space. And uh, we'll enjoy this, yeah. Been a good trip, this one. <laughs> I needed it after that e-bike trip. If you've not seen it, go watch it. After this one, nah, seriously, but yeah, I was knackered. And uh, it was only four or five days ago, I still feel drained from it, so this is lustastic today. Wicked, man. Whoa. I mean, they say it's flat. It's got a little bit of lump. Blink as you say. Flat as a pancake, for the most part, it is. I'm seeing a little wheel. Hmm. Crikey. Three more meters and I would have been talking with a mouth full of gnats or something. Look at the state of this little swarm. Cool bloody hell. <gasps> Get out of it. Oh no, bloody crypt and factor gate. Crap. Yeah. It's mad how they do that, isn't it? They just swarm together in a mad gnat fest. That's some mad's going on. Some big little rave for the gnats or something. Yes, who's got the base going? Let's go. And then it's just a big group of gnats like bouncing around together to the bass line. I mean, I didn't hear no bass line, but I can imagine that's what they're doing. Oh, wow, look. It's all that fluffy grass stuff. Oh, this is wicked. I love this stuff. It sticks to you. Might not be that stuff. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Look at the state of it. What an amazing day and what a beautiful area. <sighs> the UK blows me away. It's looking Leicester Shire, in it, in the Midlands. Yeah, I've said it before. It's not a lot to offer in terms of getting out of nature. Bits, I've only seen them a thousand times, get a bit dull, don't I? So, I mean, in all seriousness, it took me about an hour and a half to get here last night. If I took the right road, I think I would have done it in an hour and 20. It's not far, is it? Yeah, but it's such a great area. Lincolnshire Wolds, man. Area of natural beauty. Another one. It is great, though. I mean, I just keep going two years now and still finding beautiful spots and amazing places to explore. <sighs> Happy days, man. It's going to be a good summertime this time. Oh, wow. Look at this for a little quaint village in the middle of the Lincolnshire Wolds. Wow, that's stunning. Until we realise what it's called, Belchford. 
And if you don't know what the word belch means, well, it's like a burp. A burp. A belch. And that's it. Belch food in the middle of the Lincolnshire wilds. Picturesque. Shitty name. Ooh, the village of Belchford then. A concoction of old school looking buildings and brand new spankers. It looks a nice little village to be fair. Very small, maybe 50, 60 houses max. Ah, a lot of them look like new builds. Looks like the land's been turned from green belt to brown and sold off and built on. It is what it is. There's a lot of land around here, right? Big properties. Wow, nice. I mean, not a bad location for it as well, eh? What a backdrop. <sighs> Sit in your garden and enjoy that of an evening. Wicked. Might only have 60, 70 houses in the village, but still got a boozer. The Blue Bell Inn. That's a bit random, isn't it? I know that name from somewhere. I can't put my finger on it. It's a movie or something. The Blue Bell Inn. Was it something to do with the Secret Seven? Oh, I don't know. Remember them? The old Enid Blyton books. Oh man, I used to love those as a kid. To be fair, Famous Five was way better. But uh, yeah, back in the day, eh? When I used to read. <laughs> I was just starting to feel pretty tired, you know, and I'm wondering why. And then I realised, I did four and a half, five miles this morning when I went round some nature reserve that I started the video at. And now I've done this route as well. I think I'm going to end up cutting about nine miles in total today. I need some feed tonight, blooming it. And I've got a right mission of a meal to cook later on. <sighs> I wish I'd done something simple like cheese on toast, but no, it could take a while. It's a mission. Well, here's a good sign. Not only back at the crib, but somebody else parked here, so at least I'm not the only person. Makes it kind of official. Time for a bit of scoping then, see if we can find a decent spot for the night. I've got two spots I want to check out. One's kind of on the route to the next. And now I say that, that sounds like a ridiculous thing to say. But you know what I mean? It's like, if you drew a straight line, the first one's halfway along that straight line. But in all honesty, the first one doesn't look very good. It's one of them ones on park for night where somebody's put it on and there's absolutely no reviews like nobody's ever stayed there before so i guess we'll check that one out and then move on to the second which does actually look a pretty good spot and could be a goer for the night right scoping mode well gotta hold my hands up and say if the leading's anything to go by for this first spot it bodes well it's just been pure countryside weird thing with it is though look we're coming to horn castle and it says we're on the high street here uh, I thought it was going to be like in some village on a high street because that's how it's described but yeah I guess not. It's supposed to be here on this road or oh, I guess it's where this van is. That would be a bit of a giveaway wouldn't it? <laughs> I mean yeah you know there's a bin which is always nice. Oh, I've got to be honest though it's nothing special is it? It's on a main road it's got a little bit of a view. Always worth checking out. You never know, you might be on this road on a late night or something and it's it's back up, you know, and at least you've checked it before, you know what you're coming to. But yeah, nothing for tonight. I think we just keep moving to the second spot. It's about another 10 minute drive and it should be good. I've got to say, pretty random round here. It seems like all the roads lead, lead to Horncastle. Even this road I'm on now, this is called Horncastle Road. I don't get it. I don't even think Horncastle's a big town or anything, but uh, must be pretty famous. I don't know. Good news though, uh, we're uh, just about at the spot. Huh, bad news, <laughs> it's in a bit thick road in, and it looks a popular spot. Uh, oh well, let's go check it out. Oh, I've got to say, this feels a bit random to be fair, look at it, it's a bit weird. Um, yeah. You get a vibe, don't you? There's a little village at the top, and there was some two geezers parked up on the side, who stood there chatting away. This seemed alright, I said hello, but yeah, I don't know. It just feels a little bit at the end of the wrong road, if you know what I mean. Oh no! Wait till we get a load of this. This is, uh, yeah, 
this is dirty as bad. <laughs> this is it. What the hell is this? I mean, look at the state of them things, what are they? Whoa, where am I supposed to park? Will not sink me car. I'm just going to jump out and have a little run around the corner and see if there's something there because this is just... I don't know. <laughs> Hang on. And the verdict is... <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's the spot, dude. What the frickle? Um, I mean, yeah. It's alright. Oh, I don't fancy it much though. We were down there in a little nice nature reserve and a quaint little river last night and I don't know, this feels like the remnants of a broken building site or something. In the middle of nowhere, well not even in the middle of nowhere because there's a village up the way which feels a bit weird and it's definitely a frequented area because there's people walking around and everything so I don't know. I think I'm just going to get a feed on another thing. Let's do that. Well, I've got to say, there are some good overnighting spots in the Lincolnshire Wolds and all over Lincolnshire. We had one last night, but this, yeah, this is not one of them. And it sucks because my whole day has been designed around sort of getting to this spot in the evening to chill and do my thing. And yeah, no, it sucks, doesn't it? And to top it off, gutted, I just remembered to remember what I forgot and what I forgot is the bloody cooking table so I can't cook inside the crib I'm gonna have to cook outside on this dirty ground with loads of bugs around <sighs> nightmare strike two <clears throat> whatever should say though I was a little bit worried earlier because I was thinking this was going to be super complicated and it may still be because Sidekick Bob's gave me extra bits to do with it. Sidekick Bob, kid's mum. It's a pad tie. There's only three things in this pack, but there's about another bloody four things in the fridge. So, it might get complicated. First things first, simples. Boil water. It doesn't say how much, so I'm going rogue. And I'll do it my way. Let's just say a little prayer right now. Oh, it's not even bloody level. Look at the state of it. Boil away. At least this area is relatively clean round here. It's uh, and it's nice and quiet, really peaceful. But <laughs> there is a little bit of rubbish. Look, bit of a plastic bag. What do know? Some bits in the edge row. Nice bit of bum rag at the back there. A couple more bits of bum rag at the back here. It's, it looks like somebody, honestly, with the evidence that's there, had a bit of a problem. Maybe early morning, maybe in the evening, maybe both. Through the night, not sure. Looks like three episodes of something going on. Not sure if we can find any more evidence. Oh. Oh. Oh! <laughs> oh, God! I don't even know what... I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I really don't want to know what that was. I think I know what it was. All of a sudden, I'm not hungry. Oh god, Jesus, do people leave them things lying around, man? That is disgusting, dude. Oh, I've seen some shiznick, but that means, dude. Can't find a bag or something. Or just put it in a sock until you get to a bin, mate. You know, clean your sock later. Oh, that's roughness. Oof, made me stomach turn, that has. Go oh, ahead, gutted. Oh, bugger. My kettle's boiling dry. Time for the noodle. Blech. No, all honesty, a pain in the arse. I don't like these noodles. They're not very good. I prefer the freshy sort of ones that I normally buy. These are like dry, like spaghetti. Oh, I don't think I'm going to need all these. We'll cook them all and we'll worry about it later. God. God, make it easy, don't they? They don't even smell that good noodle, man. They're like cheap glass noodle type things. Look, they're not your big fat juicy egg noodle. They're rubbish. You know what kind of pad thai are you making here, man? Some cheap old pad thai type thing going on, like some low scale pad thai. Oh yeah, that needs to boil. Five minutes. Get it on. 
All right, sticking with the plan then, and also, oh mate, try and do this really quickly, because hey, there's one or two insects around here, don't you know? Uh, next step, uh, noodles to the side, and in with, yeah, you thought I was gonna do it with chicken, didn't you? Oh no, big guns, because it was reduced in the pot, which means it was about the same price as it would have been anywhere else, but there we go. Yes, prawns, king ones, and apparently, sidekick Bob told me, because the pink, Um, we may have a problem. Ah, is that a flame wall? Ah, yeah. Yeah, cos pink, they're already cooked. So I'm just putting some heat for them. Might need another can of gas. Oh, that one's dead. Oh, I've got to be honest, that's well random. Either something's wrong with my cooker or that gas was left on somehow because that was a fresh can yesterday. This is a fresh can, but the other one was fresh can yesterday. And I normally get at least two, three days worth of use out of a can. I've cooked one meal and done a couple of cups of tea with it. Yeah, that can't be right. Anyway, new can. Let's cook. <sighs> Time for a quick toss. And we'll flip these as well. Hey! Did it there, can't resist. In you are, oh, Jesus Christ! No, 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 no. Oh, fuck, lip and flop. Oh, 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 frickin' A, dude. I'm not being funny. I just did it a minute ago, and they're all all right. I just tossed it and, yeah, caught them all. I'm pretty good at tossing things normally, but crap, I lost four, man. Some of them have well been on the floor longer than 30 seconds. Can't eat that, it's going in the bed. Right, with all that mess in, these are looking a bit burnt, if I'm honest, and I was supposed to put an egg in at this point. Well, I don't have one, so in with the noodle. Bloody hell, half of them are stuck to the pan now. Brilliant. And apparently, the main shitting's supposed to go in now as well, so I'm gonna cut my arm off and get that in as well. All of it. Oh, wow, that, that looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Right, apparently, that's got to do its thing for the next couple of minutes with a sneaky bit of stirring and a frying involved. I mean, I'm honest, I don't know if it's sneaky, but it is stirring and frying at the same time. And but that's just me, mate, on it like a rash. I mean, we didn't just drop four prawns on the floor and cover them in grit, but hey, in one of the worst pitches for car camping I've ever been. Yeah, wicked, wicked. Two minutes and then the final go in. Right, we'll do this quick, because otherwise that's going to burn. I have uh, prepped, in preparation, already some red onion, uh, some of them like mini sweet corn things, they're wicked, uh, lettuce yesterday, and some really cheesy bean sprouts with some dodgy juice on the bag. Don't know where it's come from, hoping it's nothing's leaked in the fridge. Does smell a bit milky, not good. Anyway, you got to get that in there now. Too much talking. Boom time. Ha ha! Ah, oh, wicked man. Oh no, not wicked. Damn it. I chopped the onion, but it stays together in one bloody piece. I hate when things do that. Come on, open, open, open. Oi, oi, oi. Stress. What? That's lettuce. Oh, cabbage. Oh, okay. Green stuff. Oh, broccoli as well. Look at that. Living the dream, mate. VIP style there. Yeah. I've got all the bean sprout jizz on me paws. That sucks. Gutted. Yeah. And piece to resistance. Oh yeah, some pee, pee. Frickin' hey dude. Sealed like a nuclear reactor. Some of the peanut, yeah. Wicked mate, that's looking like a proper pad side. Sugar, too much peanut. Let's stir it up. Stir it up, hey, movement of the vegetable. Wicked. Looking like the peanuts just sticking to the non-stick pan. Just saying, well. That's been going for about five minutes since I put the gubbins in. I'm not entirely sure if these vegetables are going to be cooked. I might be fighting for a raw bit of broccoli in a minute, but yeah, I'm going to serve it up. Uh, in terms of serving it up, game on. <laughs> I don't know. I've got nowhere to eat. I've not got my bloody table, have I? So I can't sit in there. I've not got my outdoor table. So yeah, I might just put it on the floor down here and eat. Or oh, just stand like this and try and eat it with one hand. I don't know. I'll work some out. I'll catch you in a bit.
Well, the belly's full. I've just got to tidy up all the mess. I was just having a think, you know. I think this spot will be all right for the night. I haven't seen anyone pass me in about an hour. It's really, really quiet around here. And it's got quite a nice little sunset to boot as well. But I've got to be honest, there is a bit of a thing. I'm running a bit of a tight time schedule on the channel at the minute. Normally, I'm about two weeks ahead with the videos from where I am in the real world. But at the minute, I'm not. It's Monday now and I need to edit one of the last two videos that I've made to go out on Wednesday. On top of that, I'm actually trying to do something with the Kia. For those of you that don't know, I've got a Kia Picanto 1.1. Little car, probably about the size of a biscuit tin, and I'm slowly, bit by bit, trying to turn it into some sort of car camper. And hopefully, this week, maybe Wednesday, I can get down south to a person that's gonna help me make some plans out for maybe, hopefully, by the end of the week, putting a floor in the Kia. It all takes time and as you know if you're a regular to the channel putting up two videos a week takes a lot of effort and work and grind so to try and find the time scale to do these extra bits is not always easy and this week could be the week when I can do it so if I head back to Leicester tonight it just gives me more option and time to do what I need to do for the rest of the week. Saying all that, I'm actually planning a three, four day trip. I won't say where as yet, but it should be a pretty good one. I'm going to tick off a few things off the list that I've wanted to check out for quite some time. But for now, I think this is probably going to be the best point to end the episode. A little bit of an unusual one, but I think it's been a nice one. We've explored the Lincolnshire Wolds and done it a little bit of justice, I think, and found that it's not that easy to overnight down here. There is a couple of good spots but we haven't found them today. As for now, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, all the good stuff, hit the like button, subscribe to keep up with the series, and definitely hit me in the comments. Big shout and a big love to all channel members. Donators on PayPal and buy me a coffee. And all you guys that subscribe and watch the channel, big love. As for now, you know you know. Take it easy, enjoy the camp, and stay stealthy. Get out. I don't care what the calendar says. Summertime's in full effect. Let's have it.